Hey guys, welcome to David's Drawings. I'm David, and today I'm going to be doing a Copic marker review. Okay, so I got these Copics, and I'm going to unbox them. Well, Copics, Copics, I don't know. Okay, let's unbox them real quick. Okay. Bit of muscling it open. Alright. I got these off of Amazon, and here they be. Alright, let's see this. So, open off this packaging. off the lid, take this out, here are the Copic Sketch 36 basic color, and let's get into some drawing with these, I'm just going to test out like some shading and stuff, so let's get started. Okay, so I did some stuff with the Copics just testing out, and I was making a just a solid shape there and solid color and now i'm going to do blending i'm going to go from darkest to lightest blending in the other dark one with that first light color so it kind of blends nicely this is kind of my first try ever blending so i think it went pretty good now i'm just doing a color palette um to make it easy and also this is good for if i accidentally jumble up the markers and i can't figure out how to put them back this shows the order and it shows um, I write down the number um, on the things so I think that's a good way to do it it kind of takes away from the color but I think it turned out really good and I think this is a good way to do it for me okay guys I made this so what the idea is what I'm gonna do with this is put it on top of here and then I can put my cover on and then you have it like this with the Copics, you have it in like this, so then you can open it up, have this like this, so you can tell what colors are which, because these, I found, are super reliable, but it's always more reliable to have the actual color. Just in case you accidentally get something wrong, it's just good to have this. So, now I'm gonna go to the rating. Okay, now to rate these markers. I think, I mean, by far of any of the markers I've ever used, they're by far the best. I haven't used that many, but I didn't even have to think about it. These are the best. Here's the coloring sheet, or the color sheet, the key sheet. I really like these markers. I mean, they are a little, they're pretty spendy. Um, some of the most expensive, but I think they're going to be worth it in the long run if I get to use them a lot, which I know I will. And I really like the variety of colors that there are in here. I think it's just the perfect ones for me. Um, and I think this is just going to be a perfect, like, beginner. Like, I'm not a beginner, but, like, I don't have that much experience with markers. So I technically am a beginner. Um, these aren't, like, these aren't the best blends. They aren't even close to the best. But I think they're still fine, um, for me at least. They're the best blends I've ever done. Well, maybe not the best, but pretty close and I think I'll improve with these and they will help me improve a lot better because you don't at the end of the day you don't need the best but at the same time the best just it, it makes you enjoy your artwork a lot better when you like it more and I think these are gonna make me like it a lot more um so I'm gonna rate them a five star I just I like everything about them they have a brush tip and a bullet tip or not a bullet, this is a chisel tip, sorry. And then a brush tip, which these are also filled with a bunch of ink, which I really like, they're pretty full. So I can tell when I put it down, it's like there's ink coming out. It's not like squeezing down and then getting the ink out. So yeah, I'm rating these five star. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And for my next video, I'm gonna color something in with these. 
maybe one of my best videos I'm gonna color in that picture so subscribe for that and if you like this video please leave a like that helps people be able to see it more people be able to see it the more likes there are leave a comment down below what you think about these markers um, and just anything you want to let me know and thanks for watching <laughs>